There's another component of grieving after a pet loss. Some people will get it, some just won't. You may find people making comments that are unsettling. The people who are more likely to understand what you're going through are the people who are closest to you. But that's not always the case. I'm Kelly Drescher Johnson, a certified pet chaplain and grief care counselor. I'm Dr. Susan Holt, veterinarian and pet grief recovery specialist. I'm Annette Scanlon and I'm a veterinary social worker. You may not get the support that you expected from a best friend, a husband. They may ask you, are you getting another pet or when are you getting another pet? They may at some point tell you it's time to move on. And while they are saying these things because they love you, it doesn't mean it's the right thing for you. Some of it is their discomfort and not knowing what to say. So they say things that maybe be, might be very trite or not exactly what you want to hear. It's because they have a discomfort, not necessarily that they don't care. For so long, this was a stigmatized thing. Nobody shared about their pet loss, or if it was, it was shared in hushed corners off to the side. You may be able to open up the loss that somebody felt from years ago and create a new connection with them. And through healing them, help heal yourself as well. When someone asks you, what can I do? Let them know, you'll be helping them. Because as I said before, people don't always know what to do. So if there's something that they could do, like you could say to them, um, I'd really like to just tell you a story about my dog. Um, and, and that would help them feel better and it will help you. Social media can sometimes make this feeling worse. While it may feel great to share the love of your pet with others and let them know that your pet has passed on, it also makes you vulnerable to the people who don't get it. Don't post on social media until you feel ready for both the joys and the concerns that come your way. When posting on social media, be sure you are able to clearly state what you need and what you don't. I need to feel loved. I need to hear stories of how you remember my pet. I don't need your timeline. I'm working on figuring out my own. There are plenty of social media groups out there not all of them are well moderated. Be sure to look for ones that have somebody with training as a moderator or rules about what is permitted and what is not. And if the social media group is not helpful, it's okay to leave. You are vulnerable already. You do not need to be even more vulnerable in this moment. As a veterinarian, we know how hard it is for you to lose your pet. It may be a little bit different, but we grieve right beside you. We remember all of the memories that you have with your pet. And though our memories with your pet usually involved coming in for the first time as a puppy, their spay, their neuter, their first scratch, their first ear infection, or when they started to get old, when they started to develop arthritis or cancer. We were there with you through all of these memories. We supported each other along the way. And even though your pet is gone, we still want to be here for you every step of the way.